In this problem, we have to find the second derivative of this function. So let's go ahead and go through this. So first, we'll find the first derivative. So f prime of x. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. But here we have the cosine of 3x squared. So we'll have to use the chain rule. This will be negative sine of 3x squared. So that's the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside and then times the derivative of the inside. So 6x, right? 2 times 3 is 6. And you subtract 1 from the exponent, so you get 6x. Again, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so you take the derivative, you leave the inside piece untouched, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, and that gives you 6x. So this is equal to negative 6x sine of 3x squared. So that is the first derivative. So we have to find the second derivative. So we have to do it again. So f double prime of x. So now we're going to use uh, the product rule. So the product rule says that we have to think of it as f and g, or the first function and the second function. So negative 6x is our first function. So it's the derivative of the first, which is negative 6 times the second, which is sine of 3x squared, plus the first, which is negative 6x, times the derivative of the second. So that'll be cosine of 3x squared, right? The derivative of sine is cosine, times the derivative of the inside, so 6x. Let me, let me go ahead and go over that one more time. Let me write the formula here in case you forgot it. So if you have f times g, your first function and your second function, and you take the derivative, it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So same thing here. The derivative of negative, of negative 6x is negative 6. That's the first derivative of the first times the second plus the first, and then times the derivative of the second, which does require a chain rule, right? The derivative of sine is cosine, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. The last thing maybe to do is just rewrite this. So this is negative 6 sine of 3x squared. And then let's see, 6x times 6x is 36x squared. So minus 36x squared cosine of 3x squared. And that would be the second derivative of our function. That's it.